What's going on, family? It's your girl, Garuji Chastity. And so I'm here with a quick video. I'm actually, I'm trying to make my tea this rising. I'm about to do a detox cleanse um, created by Inspire Me With Feet. So I'm going to make my tea bags and stuff. But this thought has been weighing heavy on me, so I want to talk about it. I want to talk about the truth about holding space. And I'm going to speak to it as to how it shows up in my reality. And I want to share from that space because it might resonate with you. Okay. Now we see chastity. We, we're not talking to Garuji right now. We see chastity. Chastity is the person, is the actual person behind all of the shit that y'all see. Garuji is the character, right? So chastity is my soul. Garuji is my ego, right? My ego is doing the bidding of my soul in a healthy and aligned way, right? But because I have the character of Garuji, the idea of holding space for me looks like, well... You help everybody else. Let me be the one to help you. Or you don't have support. I can be the one that can do that for you. I want to be able to want to hold the space and open up the space for you. Because they're looking at a character. <laughs> they're not looking at the human being I feel like behind the character. Well, that's a mistake number one about holding space. If you want to hold space in my reality or somebody else's, the first rule of thumb is that you're not the motherfucking hero of that reality. It's that person. That's what holding space. Holding space doesn't mean I'm going to come in and be Captain Save-A-Ho and then all of a sudden give this person something that they've never experienced. That's trauma bonding. That's love bombing. okay? That's not holding space for another person, okay? Right? Okay? <laughs> Let me start with that one. That's really been getting to me and, and really, because when we want to hold space from each other, hold space for each other, what we are acknowledging is that it is your responsibility to maintain and handle your reality. It is my responsibility to be of support, to hold space. I'm not, again, we are too quick to give advice. All right. So you've heard me, <coughs> excuse me, you've heard me talk about this and healing the shadow. When I talk about that particular course, I talk about how the shadow is created. That's the big part because you can't heal your shadow if you don't know how it was created, how it started, what's going on with it. And what we see is, is that we go through a cultural process, a process in which we're told what is good, what is bad. We're taught to accentuate and show the good. We're taught to hide and deny the bad. Now, this cultural process happened with your, with your mama, with your friends, at school, at church. It's all of these different processes that you have to go through but just like trick-or-treating your mama told you come home inspect that bag make sure you ain't have no bad candy and the bad candy throw throw it out or inspect it do something with it we're not taught that when we're dealing with our shadow we're just taught to take all of those good and the bad once you tuck it away it is what it is nobody is telling you to go home and deal with it this is why holding space is dangerous i can't even get it out cuz it is not helpful and it is trauma bonding when you tell somebody, oh, I'm going to hold space with you, but all you got the intention of doing is just looking at the dirty shit in my bag. You don't want to go through the shit in your bag. That's in fact, that's why you want to hold space. And that's why it's so romanticized. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to help someone else in their reality because you can't help your damn self or you're not worried about helping your damn self or my favorite one of all. The reason why we want to be Captain Save a Ho in somebody else's reality, or we want to tell somebody, oh man, I don't like you feeling like this. I don't want you feeling this way. The reason why we say that is because dealing with our own shadow, like going home and inspecting them bags, is too difficult. It's too difficult. It's too difficult. So instead, we go to somebody, we, we just play house in somebody else's shit and say, oh, I'm here. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm here. And so for me, this is why, no, mm, mm, right? And, and then we, we hitting a fine line. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it groovy with y'all family because I've created the character Garuji. Garuji be so playa. She be pimp. She be like, I'm straight. I'm fine. I don't need that. Appreciate, appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some, that's a fine line. We can't be doing that. We have to be willing to say, yes, I need help. So that's what I do. When I need your help, I come get you. I swear. I promise, I, I promise, I promise, I'm going to come get you. But until then, don't do that. Don't do that. 
And so this is one of the reasons for me that like to a certain degree, I've learned to protect my energy while still being open. There's a, there's a way to do that. There's a such thing because you just got to know what worked for you. I already, I can, I can spot the bullshit because I teach it. So here's the thing. When, when, when I express how I feel, if it's a big emotional feeling, two red flags. First thing, you try to give me advice. You, you strong. You can overcome this. Don't let this get you down. You powerful. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, cuz. And normally it's probably a, 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 a woman. Don't get me wrong, sis. Empowering is, is hot. It's hot. But the thing is, I got to feel the motherfucking first emotions first to be empowered. How I'm going to do something about something if I don't know what's going on? And you telling me, don't get down. Don't, don't be like that. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't do that. That's not giving me the opportunity to actually feel through the emotions, accept the emotions, and then get to where you're trying to lead me. Again, because you don't know what it takes to maintain this reality. But again, because you're not paying attention to yours, you think you're going to play Captain Save a Hole in mine, and it don't work like that. It don't work like that, okay? That's the first one, giving advice. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. And a lot of times, this is a, 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 as a culture. This is not an individual base that like, oh, only certain people do this. We all do this. Because we've been taught to look away at those bad things, we want to automatically fix people. Because that construct tells us, right, when we accentuate the good, and, and denounce the bad that teaches us that something is wrong with us that we can only have the good parts and those and if we integrate and accept those bad parts they mean something about us so all of us have this innate belief that we aren't worthy or that we're broken and so we try to advise each other how to not be broken but it's like cuz if i've already reconciled in my mind that i am wholly lovable though wholly lovable and i am wholly loving that i am a spirit inhabiting this suit i know that I know that, okay? I already know that. So I don't, it's not helpful. It's not helpful. It's not helpful to automatically come into somebody else's reality and try to advise how shit should be going. It's not helpful because you don't know what it took to build up that reality, to maintain that reality. Nine times out of 10, when people ask you to hold space or want you to hold space for them, they never want no advice. They literally just want you to not leave them in the dark. No cap. Human presence, when somebody else is going through something dark, is nothing more than a light post, right? My feet, if we just talking about outside and it's pitch black and all of a sudden, boom, a light start, start, just, just out of nowhere, every time I take a step, a light post shine. And I was like, oh shit, I can see. I can see. And then you look to your right and it's just another human being. They not saying nothing because God damn it, my feet going to get me where I need to go. Your advice not always might do that. So if I know I'm going to pick up and I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Sometimes I just need somebody there to hear me, right? To hear me say, God damn it, that hurt. But then it's like, it's cool. We got the light on. We keep going. Like when we say holding space, that's what we mean. Just be a light post in somebody's darkness. Don't be somebody trying to tell them how to, uh, how to create the equilibrium in the reality that you ain't motherfucker create. That ain't how that work. All right? That's the first one. Giving advice. Second one. When, you, when people start emoting and having big feelings, and this can be in confrontation. I've heard this a lot. Uh, my mama used to do it to me. I don't want to upset you. Oh, ooh, ooh. And so you make the other person feel some type of way because they have big emotions. That's just simply because you're not tapped into yours. Or when somebody say, man, I hate you feeling this way. I don't want you to feel like this. You don't want me to feel like Last time I checked, these my motherfucking emotions. These my gifts. And you telling me you don't want to get, you don't want me to get my gifts because of how I make you feel. Please, somebody tell me how, how it makes sense. How it makes sense. Hmm. Hmm. This ain't what holding space is about. It's not. It's not. Right? So when people got them big emotions, you don't come over there and tell them to deny their emotions. Now I get it. Depression is real. And you may have somebody in your life who just wallowing in that shit. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about people who want to do shadow work, who want to be a part of their emotions, and they, they, they going back 
back in their house looking in their bag of bullshit. They doing their work. But here you come telling them, well, let me help you do it. Boy, if you don't go back over there and do it, you can't help me with my bag if you do it. If you do busy consume with your bag. So look, stop telling people to not feel some type of way just because it's a big, deep emotion. Maybe just because that emotion might make you feel uncomfortable. No. Allow people to, if you're going to hold space for somebody, allow them to break down without judgment, without advice. If you want to share something while somebody, while you holding space for somebody, share your experience. Share how you would handle it. Share what the shit look like from your perspective, but stop telling people advice. Stop giving people advice about how to run their reality if you ain't checked in, if you didn't ask for that. I mean, if they didn't ask for that. Sometimes people just need you to hold space. And holding space means I just need you to be a light in my darkness. I don't need you to sort through shit. I don't need you to pick up nothing. I don't need you to tell me about nothing. I just need you to be here with me, dog. That's what holding space is. And so that's why I'd be so reluctant to, to tell people like, hey, you know what? I'm going through a hard time or damn, you know, I could use some support right now. Or, you know, yesterday I had a big breakdown. So today I, I just need some time to myself. I'd be reluctant to tell people that because now they trying to, because all of a sudden they trying to tell me what to do with my reality. And it's like, no dog, I probably would have let you in had you not did that. Had you been like, damn, I totally get that. When I went through yada, yada, yada and boom and left it at that. I probably been like, you know what? Damn. Matter of fact, no, let's, let's go ahead and let's, let's do this. Let's, let me talk about it with you. Let me, I probably would have done that, but you didn't came over here telling me what, what you think might be best in some shit. Do it. You, 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 you what? You want shooting with me in the jail? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to get that out, family. That shit was hitting on me. Okay. So I had to share that real quick. Until next time, I love you. Peace out.